This is the third video in revision of A-level binomial expansions. And you're reminded these videos are aimed at students doing A-level mathematics or similar courses. Our intention is not so much to teach binomial expansions but to demonstrate how you might solve typical problems that come up in examinations. But in order to do that we need to remind you of the key formula that you're going to use so that we can show how they might be used to solve the questions that are coming up. So the background then. What we've said is a binomial expansion applies to something like this, a plus b to the power n, and if you were to multiply that out longhand you would get something like a to the n and then some coefficient f1n times a to the n minus 1b, some other coefficient times a to the n minus 2b squared and so on. So that's your binomial expansion and what you'll see is the coefficients are well defined so f1n is given by n, f2n is given by n, n minus 1 over 2, f3n is given by n, n minus 1, n minus 2 over 6 and if you do want frn that has this general expression here based on factorials. So what I suggest is you always begin a question by writing down these key formula. Now, you might say, oh, writing down all these things is a bit of a mess. So if you prefer, you could substitute, in essence, these coefficients straight in. And that's, in fact, what I would tend to do. And write down that a plus b to the n is a to the n times n, a to the n minus 1b, plus n, n minus 1 over 2 times a to the n minus 2b squared. And then you see this third coefficient times a to the n minus 3b cubed, and so on. Right then, question one. For the first three terms, find the first three terms in ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion of 3 plus 2x to the power 5, giving each term in its simplest form. So how do we go about this question? Well, always begin by writing down the key formula first. So that's what we're going to do. So there's the question. And first of all, we write down the formula. Here it is. Here's my general expression for a binomial expansion. I've written it down before I start because once I've done that then immediately I'm going to see what's going on. I've got a 3 plus 2x to the 5 and I've got an a plus b to the n. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write 3 plus 2x equals a plus b and therefore a equals 3 and b equals 2x and then you'll also see that n equals 5 because I've got to the power 5. So what I can do now is I can immediately substitute in for a and b into my formula. So a to the n is going to be 3 to the power 5. And then I've, you'll see I've got n a to the n minus 1b. So I'm going to have 5 times 3 to the 4 times b, which is 2x. And then I'm going to do this term here. So I've got n, which is 5, n minus 1, which is 4, that's divided by 2, times a to the n minus 2, so that's 3 cubed, times b squared, which is going to be 2x squared. Now it says the first three terms, so now I can stop at that point there. You might need a calculator or you might want to do this in your head. But 3 to the power 5 is 243. 5 times 3 to the 4 times 2 is 810, so you've got 810x. And then this next term, which really is getting quite messy, is 1080x squared. But hopefully you can see that the method is extremely straightforward. I've written down my general formula, and then I've simply matched my 3 plus 2x to the 5 to a plus b to the n, and then just follow through by substituting in. Question 2 then. Find the first three terms in ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion of 2 plus x to the power 6, giving each term in its simpler form. And again, you'll see what we're saying is always begin by writing down the key formula first. So there's the question, and there's the key formula. You can see it's the same one again, the a plus b to the n, and there's the general form, which you'll normally get a table in an exam, so you won't have to memorise it. So the next thing is we say, well, clearly, 2 plus x equals a plus b, 
implies that a equals 2 and b equals x. And you can also see that clearly in this case n equals 6. There's the 6 there. So now I simply substitute into the formula. So therefore 2 plus x to the power 6 is going to be 2 to the power 6, that's the a to the n term, plus 6 times 2 to the 5 times x, so that's the n a to the n minus 1 b, and then I'm going to get, and then we do the next one, this is n n minus 1, so 6 times 5 times 2 to the 4 times x squared over 2, and that's going to give me 2 to the 6, which is 64, plus 6 times 2 to the 5, so that's 192x, and then this last term over here is going to give me 240x squared. Question 3 then. Find the first three terms in ascending powers of x for the binomial expansion of 3 minus 2x to the power 8. So again, just a reminder, start the question by writing down the formula before you start. So I would always start by writing this formula down. I would just put it on the exam paper, <coughs> because if it's down in front of you, you won't make a mistake. So now I can write a plus b equals 3 minus 2x. So that gives me a equals 3, b equals minus 2x, and n equals 8. And therefore, 3 minus 2x to the power 8 is going to be 3 to the power 8, that's this term, plus 8 times 3 to the power 7 times minus 2x, so that's that term, and then you're going to get 8 times 7 times 3 to the 6 times minus 2x squared all over 2, and that's clearly that term. And then if I stick that in my calculator, because doing this in your head could be quite challenging, you get 6,561 minus 34,992x plus 81,648x squared. So that's the end of the introductory questions, and the next video will look at some slightly more challenging questions.